Good morning, Americans. This is your favorite alien in Santa Bubba here on the morning of Thursday, January 21st, 2021. Well, we just made it through another transitional power, so the left has it now, and it's the fifth president of the DFA. The scorecard says three leftists, two rightists. And here's the situation that you find yourselves in. Ever since the USA died at the end of George Herbert Walker Bush's Bush administration in 1993, you've had Clinton, a Democratic left-wing president. He tried to govern from the left, but he was forced to come back to the center by the population. You guys, that's the only time you guys ever done that. You forced him to come back to the center. But he laid the foundation for extremist liberals. Him and his wife, Hillary, laid the foundation for the extremist liberals that we see today. They were born back in his administration. That are now 30 years old or so. Okay? And then we had Bush, who started out trying to go right, but was pushed to the center for a short time. But then 9-11 and Afghanistan changed the course of his administration, and he went far right. More far, far right than Reagan or any other person before him, which caused a disaster in the Republican Party, otherwise known as the Tea Party. Yeah. Then came Obama with his interesting way of pursuing the U.S. Oh, we got to atone for our sins. Really? I don't see any directive from any other nations that set and say, okay, we are not responsible for the mistakes of our ancestors. That's what you need before you do what you did, President Obama. You did it on your own, and it's cost you. It's cost the, formerly the USA, now the DFA, big time. So during his eight years of administration, you went far left. And that angered the far right. Therefore, when Hillary Clinton ran, you put Trump up there. And he's extremist far right as I've ever seen. After a disastrous four years of his far right, now you put Biden in, which was continuing the far left reaches of Obama's administration. Case in point. HHS uh, nominee, Mr. Basera. I hope I pronounced that right. Mr. Basera was most recently Attorney General of California. Ooh. And the Supreme Court gave him a nasty put down on some of his policies that he has in California. Now, would you really want an extremist left liberal like him to be handling health and human services, which is the biggest budget, even bigger than the Pentagon. And you got a pandemic going on here. You got strife going on here. You got national disasters, economic disasters going on here. And you put a really far left extremist who has no experience in the health industry, actually a lawyer and a bad one at that, uh, with extremist views, with a budget the size of HHS? Really? Mr. Biden, what were you thinking when you nominated him? That, that, that court's for extreme left and health, tell, uh, health takeover by the government. That would make the right wing come back. And you think the last four years are bad? If you appoint him to HHS... You're going to have those right-wingers, if not Trump, somebody as extremist as Trump, uh, maybe Bannon or uh, who else there? Cruz or Graham going to be running in 2024. 
And it'll be your fault, President Biden, because you put a disastrous guy at the HHS helm. I'm not a politician. I'm not anti this and pro that. I just see him. His record in California is disastrous. And if an alien can see that and not be pro this and pro that, how come you can't? This is your favorite alien saying, President Biden, you got a chance to change this because right now this, the uh, history has gone extremist left and extremist right. And Trump tried to take the country to very far right extremism. And if you appoint guys like Bezerra, you are going to take countries to the extreme left. You already got Kamala Harris as vice president. She is an extremist, but not as extreme as Becerra. What are you thinking, President Biden? You said healing and get this country back to normal. You meant the DFA, right? The Disunited Factions of America. This is your favorite alien and Santa Baba. Good day.